Welcome to the Rapport Advantage Podcast, transforming the way leaders communicate. Here's your host, human behavior expert and professional speaker, Alex Swire Clark. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. It's good to be back, everybody. That's right. It took a little time off, but we're in the middle of quarantine season. It's COVID time here in the United States of America in the spring of 2020. Welcome to the Report Advantage podcast. We are super excited to have you with us today. If you are new to the show, er, stop adjust everything, go back and listen to episodes two through six, and that will give you that foundational knowledge for DISC, which is what we talk about here on the show. We talk about how to maintain your life in terms of personality styles and transform the way you communicate. So we're here to help you break down the walls of miscommunication, increase your emotional intelligence, and build better relationships in the workplace and beyond. I am Alex Swire-Clark. I am your host. With me normally is Liz Parker. She is taking a little hiatus from the podcast. So we'll be popping through our four powerful steps to navigate social distancing by personality type. So today we're going to be talking about our Ds in terms of how to work with them and how they can best cope with isolation and how to work with them and collaborate with them remotely when you're in this covid uh, quarantine time. Now, hoping that the country is going to open back up here pretty soon. Again, this is uh, around May. So hopefully we're going to get June and July uh, more folks back to work and more folks working collaboratively online as a part of their work from home strategy. So we might have folks working from home permanently. We might have folks doing hybrid models. All that uh, will apply to this podcast because, again, your employers may be out there saying, well, just take Fridays off or just work from home on Friday. So how to work best with different styles uh, when we're social distancing or when we're working remotely. That's the focus for today. D styles, strengths, just as an overview, strong and independent D types, they're going to enjoy their personal space at first since being at home allows them to be even more productive because they don't have to deal with all the coffee pot, you know, talk and all that chatter. They can actually just get focused on getting things done. However, they tend to be naturally extroverted, which is going to, they grow frustrated at the time that they are spending alone, especially if the rest of the team is working less efficiently and less effectively. So that really frustrates them. They want to make sure even if they're at home, if their team is in a a bathroom and you know on the side of the road working in a park. They want them to be effective and efficient. D styles may have a difficult time during the period of social distancing, and they may ultimately learn to be more patient with their team members because if this is the new norm, then they're going to have to learn to adapt. Now, how do those D styles cope with isolation? Well, although being contained in their home is limiting and challenging for them, there are certain things they can do to make the most of the situation. And so a few tips would be Number one, take time to to eat well. If you've got D's that you're working with or you are a D, you know, we can get up at five o'clock and just start going like, bam, immediately. Yes. Let's go. Let's work. Let's not have to worry about commuting, traffic, any of that kind of stuff. But now that you're working from home, you should make sure to focus on that nutritional side. There's no excuse now that there's no commute. Better nutrition will lead to a better mindset. So D's, you got to take care of yourself personally. Number two, set a big personal goal like competing in a triathlon for the first time or, you know, trying to get to a point where you're physically more active, you know, instead of 30 push-ups a day, you know, you're shooting for 50 push-ups a day or whatever that happens to be. Another tip would be reading engaging books on leadership, success, and more. Now that you've got that commute time back, you know, we go to listen from podcasts is is kind of our commute norm or routine, if you will. Uh, We just get in the car. If our commute's 20 minutes or an hour or whatever it is, then, you know, podcasts have become such a big part of, of what we do on our normal commute. And so when those go away, when that commute goes away, you tend to get out of your routine. So Get some books on Audible, listen to some more podcasts on leadership or success, those areas that uh, you're passionate about. And next, find ways to compete. I know you guys are wired to compete, you Ds out there. Maybe it's with friends by participating in some sort of shared competition like online board games. My friends and I are doing a bunch of that right now. Maybe it's a fitness challenge. Um, maybe it's, you know, some scavenger hunt to see, you know, online scavenger hunts has become popular. Um, but overall, for D styles to ease your tension, you should try to regularly exercise so you can get rid of that pent up energy and find little ways to keep up with others. Just, you know, just little tiny ways to, to keep up with people. Remember, we need to have that human interaction from the I and S side of the equation. In terms of how to collaborate remotely with D styles, well, because D styles, 
you know, they feel stressed during that, this time. Understand they're going to be more direct than usual. So if they're normally direct, they're going to be even more direct than they usually are. So they're going to be a lot of one word responses. There's going to be a lot of get this done. Let's get it done now types of mentality. And it's important not to take what they say personally. When working with D styles, you got to make sure to communicate with clear, succinct messages. You can avoid the pleasantries, the unnecessary fluff and all those details. Uh, with my team, we hire a lot of C's. And when we're dealing with, when, and dealing with issues or, or talking to our clients, we always talk about adding fuzzy unicorns and rainbows to everything we do. So what does that mean? Adding fuzzy unicorns and rainbows means, hey, Jane, how are you today? You know, I hope that you were, you know, had a great weekend or those kind of things you know, in your greeting. But for D's, you can just cut through all that stuff and get straight to the point. So hop on a hop on a Zoom call and talk through something or engage in a discussion about an issue. They love that face to face interaction. They love, you know, the back and forth. They love the the debate, you know, the back and forth in terms of I don't believe you on this one, prove to me that this is not the way it is, and that kind of thing. The key is to allow for as much face to face interaction as possible. Most importantly, direct reports and others on the team, they've got to commit to continuing to work at a solid pace toward everyone's shared goals. The mentality should be, if there's no office, it's, it's no problem. So no office, no problem. I got this. You know, I can work from home and still be productive. For some styles, I's and S's and, and so forth, we're going to get into those in a future episode. Working from home, there's there could be some distractions there for the D's. Again, they love it because they can be super hyper efficient, uh, but they do need that that personal interaction. All right, we do have a podcast coming up next. Uh, that's going to be our high eyes. We'll work through this four-part series. Also want to make sure that you are remembering that we do have assessments out there for you and your team. So you can go to alexswireclark.com and you can go to the store link and you can pick up those assessments. Again, they're, they're less than 13 bucks a piece. Really good for this particular period of time in the business world for understanding how your team communicates, what are their motivators, all those kinds of things so that you can get some real clarity and improve your culture on your team. Thanks for listening to us today. We appreciate it. If you have any other questions, you can feel free to reach out alexswireclark.com. Fill in that contact form. Be happy to help you with anything we can. Also, on the personal side of things, we do we will have a couple's online course that you can take during this time to really improve your communication uh, between you and your significant other, whether that be a spouse, whether that be, it could be just any two people really that, uh, that you work with on a daily basis and, and how to better adapt your behavior and work with them to perform and provide successful relationships. We'll see you on the next podcast. Take care for now. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks for listening to the Rapport Advantage podcast. We'd love to hear from you. Join the conversation on Facebook at the Rapport Advantage and follow us on Twitter at Rapport Podcast.